This is Winnie the Pooh Breakdance. I've always wanted to release a game on Steam, but failed every time I tried. But this time, I was determined to actually make it happen. So how about a game where you can build anything you want and make it dance? It all started in August when I found a new game on Twitter called Islands and Trains. It's a game without a goal where you just build islands and trains with zero stakes whatsoever. I love games like that, without any specific goals. Partly because they are very chill and are all about you having a great time and making whatever you want, but mostly because I am bad at games. So for my first team release, I want to make a game that even I can play. And what better topic to work with than the one thing I know absolutely nothing about. Dancing. What? I wanted this game to basically be a virtual playground where the player could make their favorite characters come to life through dancing. But in order to get to that point, I needed to know how? How do I get you to create this Among Us guy and make him dance? Allowing the player to import models and dances wouldn't make much sense. Mixamo already Whee! exists for that and it's not very gamey. And importing models and then animating them in game doesn't sound very exciting either. So there's only one option left. You make the model and you pick the dance. Thank you Mixamo! So to start off I added this default rig that when you press space or display button starts showing off some sick moves. Then I added these buttons that would create some simple shapes. You could then move those around, rotate them and scale them using my in-game editor tools. I'm not sure what else to call them. And when you find a body part on that default rig that you think really fits your new shape, you just press B, click on the body part, and that object will choose that body part as its parent. Whoa, difficult words, I know. It's quite simple actually. Parents in video games are basically like they are in real life. Once you have them, you are stuck with them forever. Wherever they go, you go. It's been 24 years, please just let me go. So basically, when the character dances, all these body parts move according to the keyframes of a dance animation. And thus, if our new object is the child of one of these body parts, it simply just... And the great thing is, you can have as many children as you want. In game, of course. I do not know what the law says. Now, there is one big problem. The game is incredibly ugly. I wouldn't even give this to my worst enemy. But to fix this, I needed to use a Unity Render Pipeline, which are not difficult to use whatsoever. <laughs> it is very difficult to use. Because installing the Render Pipeline made it look like this. And that just broke the entire game. This was the moment I started doubting everything again. Was this idea even good enough for Steam? Or was I just wasting my time? I was so close to giving up once again, until I found an article that taught me about this thing called custom passes and saved everything. The game wasn't necessarily pretty, but that is where it became the player's responsibility. So I added the ability to change the object's colors, which was easy with the help from people smarter than me. And then I added more properties to the objects, like the ability to no longer receive shadows, so you can do things like this. So what was your inspiration for this? Mostly alcohol. Ah. Now, this was the first time that the game could actually be tried out. I had my doubts that it would be any good at all, but to my surprise, this was a fun game. It's completely pointless, as it should be, and it's awesome. So with this new fun confidence, I set up a Steam page for it. The name of the game is Dance Assembly. It's perfect. With that, it was finally time to press that scary publish button. The button that would share my game with the entire world. The button that would make my dream come true. Hi, yeah, slight problem. Um, I'm, I may have gotten addicted to working on this game. Oops. Objects were hard to keep track of, especially when they were small and difficult to select, so I added a hierarchy to keep track of them and to make editing easier. Then, because masterpieces take time, which real artists do not have, I realized that there was no way to save your creation. No, wait, my space bean! I've used the same way of saving and loading games for the past two years, and I've slowly gotten better at it. So... Then when loading, I take that information and slowly feed it back to the objects. However, the parent thing from before was a little awkward here. When an object was loaded in, it needed to know what its parent was. But what if their parent wasn't loaded in yet? Then our creations that we worked so hard on looked a little something like this. 
Not very attractive, is it? In order to fix this, I loaded in every single object and gave them all their properties. And then once they were all loaded into the world and ready to be loved, I allowed them to find their parents. Is this what adopting is like? No? To celebrate my genius mind, I spent some time adding a main menu, accessibility options, and incredible music. Oh my god, please just make it stop. But there was one thing that really bothered me. There's no way to share my beautiful creations with other people. And I wasn't about to force people to mess around with their safe house. So I struggled, I cried, but I mostly just googled, and eventually I successfully added Steam Workshop integration. A place that allows you to share your Among Us guy with the rest of the world. Really? Of all things? When you could have just easily... And there you go! I did it! I pressed the publish button. I finally did it! Wow! And best of all, you can play it right now. You can make literally anything you want. Like a stick figure, or a dancing TV with green screen possibilities. Or maybe you're much more creative than me, and you can create something like... Yes. So go check it out on Steam. I am very proud of what I was able to make in such a short time and I'm super excited to see all the creations you come up with. The link to the game is in the description below. If you do create your own personal dancers, be sure to share them on Twitter and in the workshop. Like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye!